News Talk 830, WCCO 614, now 72 degrees. From the eight-yard line, first down Badgers. Good front by Kimball to give to no one. Passing, Bevel throwing it far down the field, and it is patted away by Hunter on a one-and-one one with J.C. Dawkins. Well done. Illegal block in the back on the offense. Half the to the goal. Repeat. First down. Now the badge of the ball has been put to the goal. And that's because the foul, which would have oh, been near the goal line. Which was at the one-yard line. Okay. So the Badgers start with the football just outside, obviously, their goal line. The handoff, and Moss tries to get yardage and is slammed down at the two-yard line. The Gophers said, hey, two extra yards. He and Fletcher are almost carbon copies. They're both 5'9", both that stove pipe in. This is still the setback, obviously lining up in the end zone. Quarterback now on the one-yard line as he waits for the snap. Man in motion. They give again to Moss. He goes to the outside, gets a block, and then is spun down at the nine-yard line. But remember, that's just past the around and still eight to go for a first down. From getting a first down, they have a really good chance to establish field position. Strong right. Back to pass and jumps near the goal line as the Gophers had the blitz on. You could see Andy V. Who'd you see out there at safety? It was Chris Darkins. Brent Moss, the setback, three receivers left. Bevel, the quarterback. Man in motion right. The give to the running back, and out to the 29 he goes, and I thought he'd get more. And they give Bevel a chance to throw play-action passes and those short, high-percentage passes. The Badgers line up with two backs, one ahead of the other. Give it off for the sweep by Moss to the right. He finds running room and gets the Badgers first first down going out. Unless he stepped out of bounds before that. Each 56 yards, his longest run. Now that the Badgers are in field position, we'll see what the offense can do. Slot back left, receiver right. And Moss the setback. His football for a sweep right and away he goes to the 50. And then Roska pulls him out of bounds at the go for 45. And that door impressive. It sure is, Ray. And, and right now, the Badgers are working. Prince is playing. Justin Conzenius that time coming up trying to stop it on run support. The handoff and trying to maneuver himself and not doing much is Mark Montgomery. Comes in occasionally from Creighton Darren Hall. Montgomery is a great block. Yeah, he can really run. They'll throw the long pass to him from time to time. Strong right. Man in motion left. And the draw, and Moss tried to find room, and then the Gopher linebackers closed it. Conzemia. You know, Ray, I think the most impressive part of this Badger team are strong right split backs, and this time they're even with each other. Hand signals by the quarterback bevel, man in motion left. Back in the pocket, as time guns it, completes it to the 32, diving catch there. No way you can stop it on the Gopher 32 and a gain of 10 for two tonight. But the one was when they were inside their own eight-yard line. And on second down, we're right at the one. The handoff, and Moss finds room, cuts in, goes for five, maybe six yards. Gain of five, second down and five to go. Six a carry, a little bit above his average. Strength to the left this time. And again, the handoff to Moss, and this time he won't make it. Andy Viet says, oh, there you are. He had to wait until Moss tried to go outside. Realize that they're having a little better luck when they go to their offensive right side. Behind the left side that time, stopped for a very little game. Two receivers to the right, Doremus and Dawkins. Back and looking, but looking left. The pass thrown and completed on a crossing pattern. Down to the 15 goes Dawkins before he is... And the Gophers were in a man-to-man -man coverage on these critical third from away with the victory, and that's just what Jim Wacker's doing in the early going. First down at the 16. Gophers lead 7 to nothing. The Badgers threatening. That time Moss has stopped after a two-yard gain going to the right. Outside is 65. At game time, it was 72, one of the rare... Slot back left on second and eight at the Minnesota 14. Man in motion right, Dawkins. The give and the hole, and then it's closed. Had to be a linebacker who got him, and I didn't see who it was. It against a solid running team like this is to blitz frequently, to cover all the gaps. Third and six after two two-yard gains. The Badgers' two passes have come on third down and have been successful for first down. Strength to the right. 
Back and looking. And the rush is on, and now starting to run and dump. It looked to me that Bevel kept just on going as he took it out. Badgers start leading 14 to nothing. 14-20 left in the second quarter. Slot back in motion from left to right. The strength is to the left, and that's where Terrell Fletcher does as he carries the ball for the first time, gets to the 23, and then three gophers bring it. It will come up very, very rapidly on, on run support. That, however, is fine. DeRamus and Dawkins set to the left. Back and looking. There's the pass, complete, and then an immediate tackle, two on two. Number two for the Gophers, Hunter Tack. And that big Badger offensive line wear down the Gophers' smaller pass rushes. Montgomery and Fletcher are the split backs. Fletcher in the real tailback spot. They give to him, throwing deep. He's got his man out and open, but it's too far. Whoa! I mean, that was dangerous to Ramos. You see, we've seen teams in the last, past couple of weeks try to take advantage of Instead, they have second and 10 at their own 34. Strong right, and in motion will make it strong left. That's Nyquist. Back and throwing to the right. Incomplete, a wobbly pass, and it was beyond Dawkins. Third, still 10. More to the air. Fletcher, the single setback on a strong left. Receivers both sides, two of them on the left. Back and looking, the rush is on. The screen is incomplete, tipped away, but a flag is thrown, and I believe interference on the Gophers. Reached in front to try to make the tip on the play. His feet got tangled up with the receiver. On a penalty. And keep this two minutes into the second quarter. The Gophers lead 14 to nothing. Slot back right. Rolling right. Bevel looking, looking, still looking, and now starts to run and is met by Andy Viet at the 45-yard line. A little bit of indecision. He had some running room on that if Bevel decides to take it. Seven to go. The I formation for the first time. Slot back left. And Fletcher gets running room, slips a tackle, 50, 45. Almost broke a tackle to go all the way. The ball is loose. But it's ruled that it's loose with a contact for the turf, so it doesn't matter who recovered it on in Gopher territory. Fans unhappy with the call. Slot back right. Man in motion left. Duramus. Sliding left. The give and through for the Gophers is Davis. Jerome came through on a delayed handoff. Davis is one of the most talented kids on the team. He Second down, 15 after the five-yard loss to the 45 of Minnesota. Drop back pass coming up. They're gunned up the middle. And ruled incomplete. Trying to trap it. Vantage point. The Gophers, too. the Gophers unable to put a real significant rush on. Slot back right. Split backs. Bevel calling signal. Man in motion left. Doremus. Fake draw. Back to pass. Bevel throwing deep. And it is incomplete. Narcisse staying with. Without any help or embarrassment. From preschool to high school. Ovaltine, is it so good for you? You can drink it anytime you want. Rich chocolate Ovaltine. Extra delicious. Extra nutritious. News Talk 830 WCCO tomorrow. Sunny highs near 70. Daryl Fletcher on a nice move. Cuts to the outside after starting up the middle. and go Cheerleading going on here from the fans to match the Badgers with their spirit. Daryl Fletcher in. Receivers both sides. Man in motion left to right. And Fletcher goes right and gets the containing block and then cuts back in at the sideline and is finally pulled out of bounds just short of a first. Dawkins set left. Duramus to the right. Split backs. The give and up the middle goes Mark Montgomery for three, maybe 46 will be third down coming. Well, the file and took a good hit. First down, Badgers on their own 46. Fletcher with single receivers each side. Fake draw, back to pass with lots of time. And the ball wobbled a little. I couldn't tell if it was deflected. It's called a completion. Beautiful. A little bit too long to provide the underneath coverage. Could... Split backs now. And the tight end backs up on the right side and goes in motion left. The play is to the right. 
And Fletcher finds running room. A flag is thrown as he crosses the 35. There'll be holding on the play, though. He's back holding against the Badgers. The signal just missed. Fried chicken. Don't forget the creamy coleslaw and the hot mashed potatoes. A perfect gopher tailgate only at heart. He's caught for holding. Receiver right. And Fletcher the setback on first and 21. Man in motion right. The play is to the right. Fletcher. Meets a lot of resistance just as soon as he crosses into Gopher territory. Because 52 of his players decided that they didn't want to pay the price. A lot of playing time starting as freshmen. Two-yard gain. Second down, 19 on the Minnesota 48. The blitz is on, and the pass is intercepted by Roscoe. It is 45. He's to the 40, the 30. Bevel trying to cut him down, and he slips by him and goes down the sideline and has a touchdown. 55-yard interception. I hope will be a drive, but so far, all they've had is a bang. 21 to nothing, Minnesota. That does. 4.57 left in the first half. Slot back right, the slot back in motion left. Draw play, and Boss only gets a couple. Back probably not. Depends when they blew the whistle. I think it does. One of the problems with Moss is actually locating him. Here is the same height. Split backs. Montgomery to the left of Moss. Slot back to the right. Bevel under center. Man in motion left. Back in the pocket. Now the quick pass shot out to Moss at the 35. Goes to the 43 before he is driven out of bounds by Lance Wolkow. Three is one of the toughest calls in the game of football. Slot back right, receiver left, single setback. Slot back in motion to the left. That's where the play goes with Moss on a sweep, and Viet slows him down, and he doesn't get the first down. Viet didn't get him, but he really slowed him down. And the 41 yard punt. They use any more timeouts. They start with split backs. Moss this time to the left of Montgomery and back in that pocket goes Bevel setting. He's throwing deep. It's one-on-one -on -one down there and it is incomplete. Again, it was one-on-one -on -one with Redramus cost five for 11 on their passing. Run yard line. Bevel under center. Gophers by three touchdowns. Back into the pocket he goes. Now he guns it and it's almost dropped. And then the tackle, tackling it back in at the 22-yard line. That takes some time, and as soon as it does, 33 seconds, back to pass Bevel. Shoots it to the sideline, and immediately Dawkins runs out of bounds at the 31, a gain of nine. Looks right now, and Narcisse is playing way off, and so is Juan Hunter. Clock stopped with the out-of-bounds, of course. Slot back right, receiver left. Back and looking is Bevel. As the Gophers come at him, he throws it and completes it at midfield to Dawkins. And Raska hits him at the Minnesota 46-yard line. Another first down and now in Bevel from completing those passes over the middle. Ball at the 47 officially. Backpedaling is Bevel. The rush is on. He escapes the rush. Starts to run now. Throws that ball and completes it. And running out of bounds is Jackson at the 30-yard line. The ball at the 30-yard line of Minnesota. Need, uh, at least seven or eight more yards be in field goal range. The curse laid like a touchdown. Back to pass is Bevel. Wonderful protection. All kinds of time. Now he shoots the pass and overshoots. A flag is thrown at the quarterback. He just stood there and nobody was near him and Doremus some points on the board. But at the there is Minnesota 21, Wisconsin nothing. Coming up to go for halftime show. On Split backs. Montgomery up front and to the left from Brent Moss. Moss tries to find room, had ideas about cutting, then went straight ahead and got the ball down the field. They can only improve their chances of passing. Same formation, receiver each side, this time in motion. Stand off for the power sweep by Moss. He is pulled down on an ankle tackle by Raskin. I tell you, without that, probably... Receivers both ways. Again, the split back. Off-center split. Keeping the ball after a fake. Quick lob pass comes out and pushed out of bounds. Montgomery just... The Gophers were 9 of 14. On second down, the give off and to the right side of Moss. 
lunges to the 40-yard line as Consenius made the tackle, but they're going to do is come back and throw the best they have at the Gophers. Slot back left. Moss again, the tailback. Rolling, now throwing, far downfield, and it is what a wonderful catch by the Badgers at the nine-yard line. Michael Rose, but give credit to Bevel. Uh, that ball was where it absolutely had to be. And a couple of passes that could have been touchdowns were overthrown. First and goal at the nine. They give off, and Moss bangs to the five-yard line. Second and goal at the five-yard line. Strong left. Receivers both sides, man in motion left. And here comes Moss, and the Gophers stack him up at the four-yard line, and he'll get no farther. There was a hole, but third down and goal. Two receivers left. Third and goal. Three and a half yards away, man in motion. Back to pass is Bevel, looking, looking, now shoots the pass, and it goes right off the hands of Rowan. He was there for a touchdown, and fourth down coming, as yet nobody from the sideline. Fourth down at the four-yard line. Nobody set out. Man in motion left, that's DeRamus. And rolling to the left side, and now throwing it, and it is incomplete as in the end zone, Rowan got turned around. Roughing the passer, Beeson. And I'm quite sure it was Capella, at least he won. It is first down and goal at the two-yard line, half the distance on the penalty. Another flag as the ball is lobbed to Rowan in the end zone, but the play had been blown off at the... Which could be any number of things. Illegal procedure on the Badgers. That'll be five yards. The ball back to the seven-yard line. It's still first down, but it's now seven yards. 21 to nothing, Gophers. The Badgers threatening, kept alive by a penalty on fourth down. The give for a sweep. And Moss fights his way to about the three-yard line before he is brought down. Badgers will have used a fourth down, gave the Badgers a first down instead of losing the football. Second and goal at the three. Moss is the setback. Man in motion left to right. And Moss goes into the end zone for a touchdown over right tackle. Sixty-four thousand seven ninety-eight. The crowd. Badgers start from their forty. Back to pass is Bevel. There's his pass, complete to Doremus, who is spun around and dropped by Con by Consenius at the fifty-yard line. Doremus just running a simple curl pattern. A very, very. Some set it. The fire in their belly in the first half, but the Wisconsin fire has been lighted for the second half. Gopher showing blitz, and here they come, but the pass is thrown, and this time a fine catch by Rowan. He was the one that dropped it in the end zone, but the Badgers scored any other. Fletcher did on that particular play. You end up realizing that he does more. Gopher's got a first down, then a pass interception, and now the Badgers are driving again on the Gopher 39. Two plays, two first downs. Man in motion to the right. Back to pass. Bevel shoots it out to the open man. Caught at the 25 by Montgomery, who goes to the 10. I would guess holding. Illegal use of hands. Yes. Gophers. They've been the least penalized team of the Big Ten. The Gophers the most. It is first down and a mile to go. 42 yards. They give off and Terrell Fletcher fights off tackle. Oh, finally the ball is jarred loose and uh, whoa, I don't know. The Gophers seem to be very happy. Hunter is really... Offers higher quality merchandise and service before and after the sale in Coke. Hard line after the interception by Brady. A rush was on and throwing it up for grabs was Eckers and it was intercepted. The give off and finding room somehow and getting out to the 12 or 13 is Montgomery. He really... ...to go. And Fletcher is the setback. Montgomery a step ahead and to the right. 
Back on short yardage. Here's the pass upfield, and he's way out there. And then the ball is taken away and losing it. Ruled incomplete because it was taken. Well, and it was certainly one of the strangest plays that uh, that ball should have been completed. Third down coming, and the Badgers likely will just go for the first down now. They line up in the eye. And Montgomery is hit immediately, but has forward drive with Russ Heath hanging on to him. And he got to the pass, but then turned it over on a fumble. Dean. They're three for eight on third down conversions. The Gophers are five of eight. Back to pass is Bevel. Shoots it out. His man is completely isolated. And a first down at the 33. J.C. Dawkins, 33-yard line after a gain of 19. 19 yards. Two pass interceptions have ended their two drives. Blitz is in and the pass is deflected, but it still gets to Fletcher and he goes up the sideline and out of bounds. Uh, he Tory. Sidelines, Kenzemius uh, trying to get a case. The official judged it to be late. Gophers showing blitz. And they are trying to come at him and nobody comes close. And the pass is completed to the sideline and out of bounds at the 20. 32 passes for 57 yards. Dawkins five passes for the other number two. And they're that for the Badgers on the Minnesota 32. Four straight first downs on four plays. Rolling to the strong side, the handoff to Fletcher. He cuts in, fights his way to the 29, a gain of three. Tough yard. But both their drives in the second half after an interception. Split backs, receivers both sides, strong right. Fletcher the setback, the deep setback. Back and looking. Here's the pass. It's complete. And Narcisse runs his man out at the 14, but coming back for the ball very nice. You're going to be able to combat that type of a passing attack is to get a rush. Passing, and they should be. Eight out of ten in this third quarter. Strong right. The give for the sweep, and Moss is all alone as he goes into the end zone along. Call 1-800-SMART-TV for cable channel. The Badgers and Devils' passing arm is really heated up in the second half, 8 for 10. He fakes the give and is back to pass, throwing deep down the field. It hangs up there and is caught as it, it hung up too short and coming busted to the ball. He simply saw that it was going to be short, put the brakes on. The feel one way or another, but mostly by the pass, even though they've scored on the ground on the two touchdowns. This is on the ground, and Montgomery breaks into the open. First down, 35 to the 30-yard line. Has been wearing out the Gopher defenders. Unless the Gophers can force a turnover, the Badgers are in line to tie this game up maybe before the end of the quarter. One minute to go. Here's Moss slipping off a tackle and getting five yards to the 25-yard line. Have come on the first down play. Moss now has 123 yards on 22 carries. Strong right. Back to pass, Bevel up the middle, intercepted by Narcisse, and there is the break. He's tackled immediately. Yes, at the nine-yard line. Had to punt, and it was a short punt, and here come the Badgers, 43 yards from the goal line. The handoff, and Moss trying to find running room. Uh, keeps looking. Keep by the Gophers, pass interference, Badgers went on to score. Then a pair of pass interference, uh, interceptions, and the Gophers now face the Badgers, who have second and nine. Pass off to the side, another completion at the 32-yard line. Uh, as they usually do, their hands with the, the rest of this fourth quarter to stop these badges. Slot back to the right. And again, it's Dawkins and Doremus now in motion. Doremus to the left. Back and looking. Pass thrown up the middle and a completion. Up the middle to the fullback. Montgomery caught it on the Minnesota 17. And again, the Gophers are going to need it. Just two minutes into the second half right now. Strong right, man in motion. To fullback Moss, fights across the 15. Got at least to the 47. Well, the Gophers consist consistent. Second down, seven at the Minnesota 14. The Badgers have the ball. Strong left. Draw play, and Moss somehow finds running room and gets almost to the 15. The Tadgers had an incomplete pass near the goal line, but third down, three at the 10-yard line.
Bevel gives it off, and Moss fights his way. Let's see how much they give him. He thrust that arm to stop the Badgers from making an inch. Conference between Montgomery and Moss. Moss, the deep setback. Now Montgomery moves over off the uh, tight end on the right side. He goes in motion to the other side. The give now to Moss, and the golfer stop him short and ran him back. He's back to the 11. His man straight up. Badgers start from their 24. And their offense has been very good in the second half, but the Gophers have gone back to a two-touchdown lead. Back and looking. Now the pass thrown, completed to the tight end, and Rowan is down at the 33-yard line. He picked up by Bevel somewhere in between coverage. Backs. And this time they're lined up same distance from the quarterback. Goes back into the pocket. Bevel is looking as plenty of time as he throws deep and makes the catch. at the 39, an immediate tackle of Doremus, but they split. The reasons why he may have been beaten on that play is 798 on hand. Single setback, strong left. Bevel is back and looking. Now throwing the ball and completes it. Dawkins crosses the 35, and that's all as he is driven to the game. The Margaret Selb Show. Slot back right, receiver left. Fletcher now the setback. And Bevel back to pass. Fires it out to Fletcher, who tries to keep his footing as he was staggering, and he's driven out of bounds at the 32. He the game. Craig's a young man who came to Minnesota as a quarterback. Great out defense. Ball spotted just outside the 30, so it's a yard and a half to go on third down. Slot back right, receiver left. And here's the pass. Shot out to Rowan for the first down, and he blasts his way to the 23-yard line. Primer 9 for 11 in the third quarter with one. 9 for 15 with one interception in the first half. He's back and looking again, and he fires, and it is intercepted on a great interception by Drenone Mays, who sailed through the oven left to play. The Gophers lead 28 to 14. Left and Fletcher the setback. Can the defense come up with another big play? Bevel is back to pass. He's setting. Now he's throwing for the end zone. And it is a touchdown to Dawkins. Plenty of time. Slot back left, split backs. Bevel under center. Back and looking. Now shoots the pass out to Moss, and he's driven out at the 45-yard line. Maybe the... Ball on the 44, gain of six, second and... The Ramos and Dawkins, they and the tight end Rowan have done all the pass receiving with just a couple of exceptions. Montgomery has one. Man in motion from the slot back. The blitz is on, and he throws the ball, and then the ball pops loose, and the Gophers have it before it hits the dog. Yes, they do. That did not hit the sidelines. All the fly patterns that have worked in the last... Wisconsin has three timeouts left. Back, Bevel, looking, throwing up the middle, complete to Montgomery, and he slips a tackle by Heath, and then is pulled down at the 25 or 6-yard line by... Can the defense come up with one more play? We're down to 248 now. Back to pass as Bevel steps inside the rush, throws the ball, catch and tackle by Consenius. Rowan, the catch, just a 4-yard gain. Receivers both sides, strong right. Bevel back and looking. Throws it, and it is intercepted by Sauer at the 32-yard line as he cut in front of Doremus and grabbed the... Am I criticizing the official? I wouldn't do that. No, I know no, you wouldn't. No. At the 15, Wisconsin with the football. 114 left to play on their own 15. Bevel under center. He's back to pass. Has lots of time. He throws it upfield. It's crowded. It's caught by the Badgers at the 40 and an immediate tackle. From catching the ball. Uh, excellent. Sure get up in the air. Badgers line up immediately. Bevel is back. Rolling out from the pockets. Tries to shovel it ahead. It's ruled incomplete. He was just getting rid of it, but he did have a potential receiver. A creative way to throw a pass. It was almost like he was pitching the ball forward, almost underhand. Their own 40-yard line. They'll have three receivers to the left. 
Bevel dropping back. Has lots of time. Steps inside. Now he guns the ball and completes it to the Minnesota 32-yard line to Dawkins. Still at 52 seconds remaining. Ready to go from the 32-yard line of Minnesota. The clock starts ticking. Bevel is back and looking, and he gets the pass away, and it is incomplete. Man for man, and Roscoe... One that may have uh, made the difference. The 8-21 to 21 strong right. Fletcher the setback. Bevel, the breaths of Rich is on as he just throws it, and it is incomplete. Intended for DeRamus, who thought he had interference. Four down territory any place, because time is running out, and the Badgers are down by... And the Gophers do it two more times. Bevel waiting for the snap, has it. He's back. As time, he throws it, incomplete. They had a mix up there because DeRamus had 22 seconds remain. We probably will have the double. DeRamus to the left, Dawkins to the right. Tight end moves to the right. Man in motion to the right. Back, the rush is on, the Gophers coming at him. He steps in and is hit just as he throws the ball and it is short. The Gophers with their 8 to 10 and they're getting the axe over bite Wisconsin's in. Uh, I've been telling Jim that uh, if head injuries and headaches and. Rios is out there. He's not starting at, at slot back. He's uh, one of the guys lining up to receive passes. Now they move and we have slot backs on each side with Carter the setback. Quick look and pass to Rios. He's got five. He's got eight to the 43. Second and two. And that was why he was out there. He does that. Covered. You'll find that Jim's quarterbacks are trained to go to him right away. Badgers are 62% successful on third down because their first and second downs are so good. Gophers strong right, but Rios goes in motion, and that puts two men on each side. Second down, two to go. Darkens now the setback. He gets the football, and he gets just one yard. <laughs> he keeps trying to nudge the ball farther forward, but... Uh, Great player, and he runs really well between the tackles, but I think that uh, we've... ...to mention Rios being the other one, especially on receiving passes. Slot back left, one receiver right this time. And Carter sidesteps and goes straight ahead. The hole was not where he had hoped it would be, so he did a quick step. He twice has been graded the best offensive line. Offensive player of the game for the Gophers. Three men set left, one to the right. That's Rashawn Early, and it's good to have him back in. Darkens the setback. Fake gift to Darkens. Quick pass out to Douglas. Flips a tackle from the arm. Goes to the 45 and spins and drops at the 39. A flag was thrown. Yeah, it is holding against the Gophers. So that hurts. They got nine hurts because instead of second and one, it's second and... Gophers at their own 49 now. Slot back right. Receiver to the left. Darkens the setback. Eckers behind Neil Fredenberg at center. Gets it. Hands it off on the draw. Finding a hole. Darkens cuts back again. Goes... Close to the 40-yard line. He'll be just short of it. It'll leave third down. Most athletic. Converted from tight end. A great pass blocker. Has good... Slot backs both sides on second down and two at the Badger 41. Gophers with the ball. First team with it in this game. And it's Carter straight up, up and over. And he'll be very close to the first down. Looks like it might be measurement time. No surprises in the other three games, but a definite... Well, in fact, the next game, but it's two weeks away. We have an open date next week. In motion goes Rios, and that means a blitz because there's nobody back, and the screen goes off Rios' hand. They had it all set up. It's a slip screen up the middle. Read that, and he was able to dump the ball. Three men set to the right, one to the left. Darkens the setback. Second and ten at the Badger, 39. Man in motion, Carter. The give to Darkens. Slips one tackle, but not another, and gets one or two yards as Darkens comes out. Up as part of three men set left. Now the tight end comes in tight on that side. Slot backs each side. Back pedaling. The red blitz is on. The pass is thrown short. And again, the pressure was such. Four wheel anti lock brakes.
Plus, it has a standard driver's airbag that's... Full ...isn't all that bad, but he was not as good as the first punt by any means. The Gophers line up with Darkens as the setback on a strong right from the 39, and now Douglas moves in and then keeps going, so it's three to the right. Back to pass, Eckers has time, shoots it out on the screen, 40, 35... Darkens to the 30, to the 25, cuts back to the open field, the 10, the 5, and into the end zone on a beautiful change of... Number one by doctors as a source of complete balanced nutrition. 633 from WCCO News Talk 830. Gopher start from the 20-yard line. First and 10 to go, slot backs each side. Carter the setback. Fake give. Passing is Eckers, leaping grab by Douglas, spins away from a tackle, and that way gets his first down. He was hit a yard short of a first down. Thing on the, on the missed field goal. Who knows how crucial it will become, but the holder... First down on their 31 on the 11 eye pass completion. Now, they do some quick changes, putting slot backs on each side. Rios on the right side in the slot. The handoff for the sweep, wide right by Darkens, outruns two, outruns three, 40, 45, slips a tackle, 50, 45, 40, two-yard line of Wisconsin. Officially 28 yards for Darkens, the ball on the 42 of the Badgers. Slot backs both sides, Darkens the setback. It's his football. There's no room as he's on the short side, and he still gets three yards. That's pretty good under the circumstances because he's... And the only problem is when the Darkens did. Three receivers left, one to the right. Now do we get a blitz because there's no setback. The whistle blows. That's the light, and now I'm living large out on the coast. And because of... Two touchdowns beat Michigan 24-21. Gopher second and seven on the 39 of Wisconsin lead, 7-0. Rolling to the right, Eckers stops, throws, completes it to Garrison, who's bumped out right at the first down marker. I believe it'll be just short. Seven-yard gain to the... Th the obvious effort on Jim's part to try to control the ball. Seven yard to go. Gophers have Carter with three receivers to the left. It's Carter's ball going to the right, blasting through. First down, oh, got a good hold. The right side of the gopher line. One of the strongest players on the team. That includes offensive, defensive linemen. Down conversions, the Badgers are two for four, although once in very bad field position. Three men left, one to the right. Back faking it, now throwing the pass. Out there is Rios, leaping grab, touchdown! Rios leaped as high as he could at the goal line. For safety research center for the Institute, because we want to help me. Two. That's the play clock. Rios, the setback. Man in motion, makes it three men left. They give and back to pass. Eckers dumps it up the middle to Rios at the 15-yard line. Is drags three tacklers to the sideline and out of bounds at about the 18. The ball upfield uh, and being able to slip a few tackles simply because they... It was like they had to go through 23 minutes and 54 seconds to get there. Slot backs both sides. Darkens the setback on second and five. It's Darkens. Cuts back. Comes to the other side. Comes out to the 20. Gets a block to the 25-yard line and drags to the 27. Rashawn Early cleared the way. The help from Early. I've got to add that because he made a nice containing block. A good downfield blocks by the receivers. You bet. Slot backs both sides. Carter, the setback, gets the ball, gets the hole, breaks one tackle and lands at the 35. He'll have eight yards back is what you really want to have in in the game that's uh, that's what maybe a whole series but certainly for five or six plays at the least the gophers change virtually every play darkens in there now if somebody's going to stay it'll be darkens he gets the handoff sweeps wide right 35 dump probably just short of the first down got two yards maybe just one yard says that the injury is not third down and less than a yard for a gophers about foot to go harder the setback Man in motion, tight end. Carter's football finds a big hole. 40, lands at the 41, gain of five, first down. Well, and you have to believe that Wisconsin came into this game, Ray, expecting to go on the ground. The Gophers have scored on two passes, a screen to Dawkins and a leaping catch by Rios at the goal line. But the running game has gotten them there. Back to pass, Eckers completes it through a hole. And Douglas goes to the 40-yard line. He was sandwiched by two defenders. Uh, Scott Eckers threading the needle. It, it's courage to even throw that. 40, 19 yards first down on the Wisconsin 40. Slot backs each side. Up the middle, Carter. This time somebody came up, and there's a little pushing and shoving going. The line that they do in the backfield. 
7.35 right now with the clock on the move. Three receivers to the right. And Rios moves up closer behind the quarterback. He's ready to pick up the blitz. The pass has gotten away toward Levine. And he could not hang on to it. He had it in his fingertips. It slipped away. He got But he was able to lay the ball out just a little bit too far. Third down receivers to the right and darkens the setback. They need to get to the 30. Backpedaling with the blitz on. Eckers deflected pass at the line of scrimmage. Doesn't get near early. This is no time for celebrations. Officially nine yard line where it's marked first down Gophers leading 21 to nothing. Three receivers right darkens the setback. Eckers under center. 322 left in the half. Draw play darkens. Rams ahead because the hole was closing, but he got out to the 42 for a gain of back. And he's been cut pack a wall up just the middle more than Marion Barber, but has that same kind of hitting power. Marion was that sweep power sweep that he did so well. Second and seven, back to pass. Eckers. It completes it, and Douglas this time has somebody hanging onto the jersey, and he cannot get away. But he officially at the 47, a gain of five, so it's third down. Keeping the football for the half. We have 2:10 and the clock moving. The give and uh, ramming ahead. He was stopped just short of the first down. Carter said, no, I need another yard and a half. That particular play, and opened the yard, opened up the yardage necessary for the first down. So the, the line itself is Doug Larson. Farther out is Garrison, and back to pass. Eckers, the blitz is on. He gets the pass away, and it's batted away nicely over the shoulder of... A bit high and was only able to tip it, and when the ball went up in the air, it was... One Three receivers to the left, darkens the setback from the 50-yard line. Tangan in motion. Following that side, darkens sweeping, but he's pulled down and a flag is thrown. I uh, don't know whether we... David Vertin on the right side. The Gophers ran that zone play to the short side of the field, and it's awfully important for the offense. And the Badgers want the football. Rio will use the timeout. Three receivers left and Rios. Draw play, Rios goes to the outside, starts to cut back, and is pulled down for a yard loss at the 48-yard line. Put some points on the board. But at the there is Minnesota 21, Wisconsin nothing. Coming up the Gopher halftime show on the Gopher. Now is thinking to himself that if this Gopher team is going to... Three receivers. Darkens the setback. Rios, one of the slotbacks. Quick swing pass out to Darkens. Doesn't have any running room and gets only to the 25 for a one-yard loss on the completed pass. 11 to go at the 25-yard line. Upset of the day in the Big Ten. Gophers had a 21 to nothing lead. Now have the ball for the first time in the second half, leading 21 to 7. Eckers makes sure everybody knows what they have to do, and with one second on the shot clock, he's back. Throws the pass, completes it to Douglas, who is driven back, did not make the first down forward. Progress will be... We're looking at her, Gray. But Omar had an awful lot of running room. He saw Carter the setback on third and three. Big play. Eckers under center. Back pedaling, looking, throwing, completing it for a first down. Making sure it was Garrix. Eckers continuing to show an awful lot of composure. This is a young game. <laughs> That's right. Three receivers left, one to the right. Back to pass, looking. Throwing deep, trying to hit Rios. No chance there. He was sandwiched. Tight end, Dalen. So slot back to the right and left with the tight end on the left side. The blitz is on. And stepping inside it now, Eckers throwing, and it is going to be intercepted. It has went off the hands of Doug. A juicy mushroom and Swiss burger, or a piled high roast beef and cheddar. And, and the Gophers start in Badger territory. Big play after the Gophers lost it on an interception. Backpedaling. And the rush is on and escaping the rush to the 45 and diving almost to the 41 for close to a five yard. That's the first time I've seen Omar come out of a backfield set. Perkins, the setback. Slot backs on each side. Douglas is the slot back on the left. Rios on the right. The blitz is on again and Darkens runs through the blitz. Goes to the 35 and out of bounds at the 30 yards at the 29 yard line. So it's a gain of 29. Darkens the setback. And the Gophers loosen up, and they'll wind up with slot backs on each side. The give to Darkins cuts in, but a fine tackle by Thompson, and he gets at the most one yard. No gain on the play. The Gophers wins. 
Three receivers to the right, one to the left on second and ten. And now we have the slot back left and three receivers to the right. That was Carter going to the left. Pass thrown up for grabs, and it is intercepted of Douglas Hands. Just kind of threw it up there. Carter, the setback, strong right. It's Carter trying to bang ahead, and with a final lunge, he goes out to the 38-yard line. A, a much younger Gopher team. Uh, the Gophers have effectively to the left, one to the right. The pass caught by Early, and he's trying to get the first down, and I, don't, I think they're giving it to him. Talented athlete Rashawn Early is. He may not have received the ball. Right now, it's clear. 63 degrees in the Twin Cities at 828. From the 45, first and 10 to go. The Gophers with slot backs on each side. And then they add another one on the right side. No setback. Badgers show blitz. Blitz they are. Back to pass. Eckers. He's throwing deep. It's crowded down there. And it is intercepted by the Badgers at the 21-yard line. Gophers will start from the 9 needed with 19 seconds left. Third quarter. Carter, the tailback, it's his football. He cuts to the outside, but there's no room, and then he lunges forward so that it becomes only an ankle tap. It's officially a two-yard game, second down and eight to go. The series is 4-1 to Jays in the fifth inning. Phillies are history. News Talk 830 WCCO. On second down, a quick look in pass, and Darkens escapes and gets out just short of a first down before an egg. Have a chance to let his blocking catch up to him or let it let it fall. Even if it's only Hudson. Right. Three receivers right, one left on a big third down play. Carter the setback, and it's his football, and he does not make it. The Badgers knife through and made the play. That was Yusef. Ball off tackle. Jerome Davis. Broke. And the Gophers go offside. Dalen started early. Again, Ray, you never know how significant. Fully within range, and, and a very simple quarterback sneak might have. Might have. In the slot on the left. Short pass to Rios. We'll see. It's first and 15. It's always a gamble, of course. And it requires to be very quick on the pass before the defense can adjust. Back pedaling into the end zone. A ball thrown out to the tight end who's tackled at the 13-yard line, and that's all that he, he wants them in uh, Minnesota. It was 21-0 at the half. Strong left. Back and looking. Now the pass. Sideline and ruled incomplete as Garrison has been able to put on him here in, in the second half. And Garrison 14, 7 to go. No setback. Three receivers right, two to the left. Back pedaling, the blitz is on, the ball is thrown, and Rasan Early has the first down and escapes to the 30, the 40, the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5, and he is pulled out of bounds at the 2 yard line. He was starting at that point. First, first and goal at the 2 yard line. The give off and struggling is Carter. I think he's just a little woozy. The ball is not have to, to put the go for offense on the field. I thought Kenny Gales would get him about the 30, and they changed direction. They give off, and Darkin goes into the end zone for the score. Fine blocking by the left side of the line. Oh, that was beautiful. That play off as good a reception as we've ever seen Omar Douglas make. It's off the field. We had 11 men already. Man in motion, the tight end to the left. Gophers go to that side. And the ball had been blown dead. So the Gophers, first down, just over 12 yards to go. Just inside their three-yard line. Darkens lining up in the end zone. Quarterback crouching just by the goal line. And now the, the Gophers will try it again. 6.51 left to play. It was at Northwestern. First down. Darken sweeping, tries to cut, gets only to the two-yard line. It'll be second down for 70 yards, just under six. Using up time the best they can, but trying to get the ball out at least a few yards for the punter, if nothing else. 
The give out to Darkins. Cuts to the outside. The five, the ten. The ball is loose, and it's still loose. And the Badgers have it at the 16-yard line. Darkins fumbling. It's up to the Gopher offense. It's got too early on the touchdown, then a fumble. That's where we are right now. The give to Darkins, trying to power a sweep left, running out of room, out of bounds at the 21, a one-yard gain. Cut that one up and stayed in bounds. At this point, it's to the Gophers' advantages to keep that. To the left, Rios the setback. Second and eight. 28-21 Gophers, the pass. Complete, and Garrison is pulled out of bounds at the 28-yard line. It'll be that first down. He again was driven out of bounds. Uh, not much time ticking off the Wisconsin offense. Carter. The setback, strong right, third and two. Big play, big, big play. Back and looking. Now the pass upfield, too long. Intended for Garrison, fourth down. Available for one of the gopher defenders to Mark. pick off. The it could technically be a completed pass and a fumble, but I think it'll be marked as an interception. They give now to Carter. Makes only a yard. The line of scrimmage is the fourth. Had to run the football to win the game and to run down. Four interceptions by the Badgers, three by the Gophers. The give off, and there's no room for Carter, and he has to fight to get one yard to the 41, a deep draw that didn't work. Not be able to be conservative on this one. They'll have no setback. Slot backs on each side, tight end on the right side. And back pedaling. Protection holds. The pass is complete to Garrison. He runs out of bounds with a first down at the 48-yard line of Wisconsin. Big to allow Garrison to make his decision. There appear to be two linebackers. Garrison wide to the left. Hanging on the right side, and beyond him is Douglas. The give now to Darkins tries to cut back, but the, he's thrown down for a loss at the 50-yard line. Just one reception in the second half. He had four in the first half. Right. Early's on the right side. Darkens the setback. Back and looking for Early. One pump. Now the deep throw to Early, and it is batted away and ruled an interception by the Badgers at the 14 yard. The Gophers at the 33 yard line of Wisconsin. The give off and fighting, fighting is Carter, and then he breaks the loose and gets to the 30, a hard second. The ball is snapped just in time. He's back to pass, and he'll be sacked for the first time tonight. Back at the 38, the Badger coach is signaling for a timeout. As of seven, it's third down and 15 to go. Two more timeouts remaining. Four receivers to the right, darkens the setback. 127 on the clock, seven point lead, Minnesota. Gophers have led all the way. Badgers showing blitz, and here they come, and it's Darkens, and a flag was thrown. Gophers may have used up the play clock. They're 25 seconds. Yep, that's what it was. Nonetheless, the, the result is the same, five more yards back yard line where it's still third down 20 to go now three receivers right and dark and uh, Carter with the setback back pedaling the quarterback throws and goes through the hands of Lou Garris uh, Wisconsin obviously is for real under center Eckerts Badgers could stop the ball one more, the clock one more time. He nailed it down at the 30-yard. Nothing lead, have struggled keeping it, but have won the game 28 to 10. It's a gopher. Bite. Wisconsin's in trouble. People talk an awful lot about the Badgers' special teams, but I think Michigan would lose three games, and they're not near the end of their season I yet. think everybody was picking Gary Moeller in Michigan to win it all this yep. year. Here comes the kickoff. Low line drive, bouncing kick. And letting it go out of bounds wisely is Darkens, and that'll bring it out very likely to the 30. Interesting things about this first series is that we've uh, seen the ball away from that Wisconsin offense. The punt, Nelson will just watch it. And it hits at the 10 and goes to the 7 where it's down. No score. This is the Gopher Radio. The play of that defensive line with Craddaville back in and Dennis... 12. Sam Veit. The deep end of the end zone, obviously. 
Waiting for the snap. It's a good one. And no great pressure, but the whistle blows. It was a good... snap back and the rush is on he gets the kick away and he was not touched but the rush goes out of bounds at the 39 yard line of Wisconsin so a 37 yard punt the Gophers will start in Badger territory Green pass to Darkin ready for the extra point try Holte will hold puts it down the kick by Chalberg is good the Gophers lead seven to nothing will that's why State Farm works with car makers to make new cars harder to stop the Badgers put two men at the goal line two men at the 15 there's the kickoff. Very good, good leg to it. Taken by Jackson, a yard deep in the end zone. 10, 15, 20, and pulled from behind. That slowed him, and he went down at the 27. Because he was dumped at the 13 for a loss of one. You're right there. 30-yard field goal attempt by Hall. He'll kick it from near the right hash mark. Hash marks don't mean as much. It's not much of an angle because they're farther infield. The one is that it's... Low and it's off to the left, not good. The snap was fumbled partly because it hit. And Obar Douglas was down in the secondary, but he got tripped almost at, the, at about the five-yard line. Extra point try by Chalberg. Holtby puts it down. The kick is up. The kick is through. And it's 14 to nothing. Gophers will continue. Three. It's the right way. And that left Rios open. Douglas with 10 touchdown catches so far. Here's the kickoff. End over end, good spin to it, and again, taken a yard deep by Jackson, out to the 10, to the 15, and that's all, whoa, he was hit by Tangan, and I swear that Tangan, and what an unusual call, Ray, for a third down, fifth, nine yards, had a 37-yarder to start, but that was from the deep end of the end zone with only 11 yards between the snapper and him. He's got his 15 now, gets the snap, and has plenty of time to put up a high, high spiral. Fair catch signaled and made by Garrison at the 12. 14 to nothing, Gophers. This is the Gopher Radio scrimmage. Scott Nelson waiting at the 10-yard line. The snap back, no great pressure. Then the high spiral. And the Gophers getting downfield. Rennie takes the bounce into the end zone. Will be brought out to the 20. 14 to nothing. Gopher line. This is a kid who knows how to play. Nothing lead. Schalberg will try to make it 21. The snap. The kick. The score is 21 to nothing with 5.05 left in the... It's like prompt service. Coast to coast warranties. An outstanding value. Jackson and Brunston are back. Here's the kickoff. It's a sidewinder. Goes right through the hands of one, but picked up on the hop at the 10-yard line, and Jackson is out to the 30. That got to him in a hurry, and he got to the 36. That time, the kick got there quick. Those third down and threes uh, are not real hard, Ray. The 16-yard line, and fight. Spelled just like the Gophers be it. No relation and different pronunciation. The snap back. And a wobbly kick off the side of the foot and stays out of bounds at about the 38-yard line of Minnesota. That's just ninth for an interception and touchdown run by Roska. First half, 21-0, Minnesota. Scott Williams ready to snap it back. Taking a long time, now gets it back. And the punt is away. Waiting for it, Nelson takes it at the 12-yard line. The Gophers converge on the first man downfield. Viet gets him at the 11-yard line. Oh. With five seconds left, do you risk... The snap, the place, the kick. And this one is wide to the... I can put some points on the board. But at the is Minnesota 21, Wisconsin nothing. Coming up the Gopher halftime show on the Gopher. Slide has not been in there yet. Had one knuckleball, as Mark called it, and two long ones so far. There's his kick. This one's an end over end. Jackson at the 5, 10, 15. 20, getting across the field and slips through and goes to the 30 before he is ridden down from behind at the 33. Nice return by on the field, which we don't need. Who is 25 of 28 so far this year. 
Gets this one through the middle to make the score 21 to 7. Wilkins means giving them your best and being a professional league for that. In the meantime, that's as much as I can tell you, and Wisconsin is ready to kick off. That one coming toward Rashawn Early at the 8-yard line. Darkens the other one. Out to the 20, to the 25, and to the 26, and that's all. Now, how can the Gophers do? Pulling it to within one touchdown. Moss showing it from two carries. He now has 102 yards and 20 carries. The extra point is good. The 21. Of days that bloom a passionate red. The Gophers have Early and Darkens deep. Both playing to the right side. It'll be a sidewinder, and it'll go out of bounds, and they'll get it at the 35-yard line. Second time it's been shanked that way. Occasionally run from that. 21 to 14, Gophers. Big play. Let's see what the Gophers do. Snap goes to the punter. High and short. Takes a straight-up bounce. And doesn't go anywhere. It's dead at 9.41 to play and a very important extra point. Try. And Schalberg will kick. Darkens second touchdown. The ball put down. The kick is good. And the score becomes 20. I've been up on this billboard for days now. And I'm not coming. Yes, and marvelous run by Early. Here's the kickoff by Schalberg. Very high, not as deep as some of the others. Jackson at the 12, fumbles the ball, picks it up on the bounce, and then runs, I mean, stonewalled by the Gophers at the 20, extra point try. 28 to 20, the score. The snap again was low, but this time they got it placed, and the kick is whether it's a, a field goal or whether it's a touchdown. I think a field goal would be, enough. those two men move up from the one-yard line up to the five-yard line. And the kick... Of course, it's good. It goes back to the goal line, into the end zone, and will be knelt down, and the Gophers will start from the 20-yard line. Starts as both teams come back from the... Shank punt his last time, or short punt, I should say. Gets the snap. No great pressure, and puts up a wobbly, but not bad kick to the far side, but it's caught on the run on the 39, and Nelson sprints into goal, just into Gopher territory. was he all alone that was a slant pattern by Garrison and there was no there's the snap back and the punt very high fair catch is signaled and fumbled but made and the ball is loose and let's see who has it it's ruled dead on contact so it's the Badgers ball at the 15 no fumble to 10 uh, and